Hi everybody, this is Jeremy Baker and it's time for this month's Mystery Tackle Box versus Lucky Tackle Box unboxing video. Now this is a video where I take the contents from each box and lay them on the table side by side next to each other and allowing you the viewer to kind of kind of compare and contrast and see which one of these two boxes you may like better. Now personally I feel that you really can't go wrong with any one of these two subscription services which is why I still have both of them. So let's go ahead and see what we got inside these boxes this month. Okay, as you can see, I've got Mystery Tackle Box here on the left, um, Lucky Tackle Box here on the right. I've got all the contents for each box laid out on the table here. And we'll go ahead and start with the Mystery Tackle Box side. Uh, each month with Mystery Tackle Box, you get their Mystery Tackle Box sticker. You also get their Match the Hatch uh, Scratch Off Game Card. Uh, it looks like this month you've got prizes from Daiwa, uh, Deeper, Flambeau, Hoorag, Hoorag, and Ardent. And then you've got their monthly publication, the Double Digest. Uh, it's got some articles in there about scent, how to read shade, prevents from preventing losing fish, and also even some tips on how to catch catfish. And then each month, of course, you get the Mystery Tackle Box card, which lists each individual item that comes in the box, along with the, each item's manufacturer, manufacturer's website, also the MSRP for each individual item, and also a quick rundown description for each item in the box. All right, over here in the Lucky Tackle Box side, you get their monthly sticker, and it looks like it's the same design as last month. Uh, this month, you also got a little sample pack of Dr. Dan's Cordy Bomb, their little lip balm. Uh, you also get their monthly publication, the Fish Hound Magazine. Looks like this month, we've got uh, Noah from Kicking Their Bass TV. If you haven't checked out Noah's uh, YouTube channel, Kicking Their Bass TV, definitely go check that out. It's one of my favorite bass fishing YouTube channels that's out there right now. And then, of course, you get the Lucky Tackle Box card each month. Uh, again, it lists each individual item that's in the box, along with the manufacturer's website, the MSRP for each individual item, along with a, a description for each item. And Lucky Tackle Box even gives you a, a few tips on how to use each item uh, that's in that month's box. So let's go ahead and get into the lures and baits that come in this month. We'll start with the Lucky Tackle Box side first, or I'm sorry, we'll start with the Mystery Tackle Box side first on the left side. And the first thing that I noticed is the Whopper Popper 90. Now, this is a 90 series. The 90 is a little bit smaller uh, than the uh, larger series. I believe there's a 130 series and also a 190 series. So it's the smaller of the, the Whopper Ploppers that's out there. Uh, I've been thinking about getting one of these Whopper Ploppers because uh, I've been hearing a lot of great things about them lately. I know there's been a lot of tournaments lately that's been won because of the Whopper Plopper. Yeah, I'll go ahead and show you this right here. That's what it looks like right there. Uh, color on this, let's see, the color on this one is uh, rat a tat tat and It's got number four size treble hooks. And there you go, there's the top of it. It's got a kind of a dark, kind of a, almost a black top to it with some light brown, little black tiger stripes to it, and a white bottom to it there. And when you drag this through the water, it floats, and what it'll do, this, this end will, will spin around and basically plop around and make some noise. It's got two treble hooks. Now, um, the great thing about this compared to like a, a buzz bait, for example, buzz bait, you continually have to reel that in. Uh, if you pause, it'll sink down, to the bo uh, sink down below the surface. Whereas this whopper plopper, you can pause this and it'll remain floating, which is really cool. Now it's got two treble hooks on it, so you can't. You got to be careful uh, fishing this around uh, weeds and other grass and so forth. So it's more of an open water um, type top water, but it's been really successful from what I've seen and heard. So really looking forward to to throwing this out there. I'll probably let them wait another week or two before the water around me warms up before I start throwing top waters. Now the treble hooks on here. Uh, the one thing you got to be careful about when you're fishing top waters with treble hooks. Top waters, you tend to catch some pretty large fish. So you got to be careful and use some really sturdy uh, hooks. I may change these hooks out because uh, the last thing you want is to catch a big fish on these treble hooks on the top water and have the fish bend these hooks out and then you lose the fish. So I might change these hooks out. I'm not sure. I may uh, try it a couple times, but I might put some sturdier, uh, little heavier duty hooks on these instead of these that uh, these uh, come with. But overall, pretty good looking bait. The MSRP for this River to Sea Whopper Plopper uh, 90 series is $13.64. Uh, next up here from Fish Head, we've got a stand-up Fish Head Spin. It's a quarter ounce size. I'll go ahead and open it up and take it out here and show you what it is. It's basically kind of a bladed jig. Uh, the blade is on the bottom. The really cool thing about the design, uh, if you can see here in the front of it, 
it looks like it'll um, be a really good bottom bouncing or bottom dragging type um, uh, jig. And that's perfect for this time of the season because with the cold water around me, uh, slow dragging baits on the bottom tend to work better than the faster reaction style baits that move through the water column. Uh, the great thing is too is when you pause this, it looks like it'll stand up uh, on the water. On the water, here I'll go ahead and put it on the table, kind of show you. Maybe you can get a better look. So when it's in the bottom and you pause it, it should stand up like this and allow that bait to kind of just kind of wave uh, off the bottom there. So really interested in uh, trying this out. The MSRP for this uh, fish head stand up fish head spin is five dollars and twenty nine cents. All right, next up here, we've got some Daiichi uh, hooks. You've got two different hooks in here, two different side hooks. One's for lizard and one for crawl. I'll go ahead and open these up so you can take a look at them here. And they're kind of like a, just offset warm hooks. A couple of di two different sizes here. The smaller one will be for the crawl and the larger one's for the lizard. Uh, and there's a reason they included these this month because it looks like we've got some plastic um, crawls and plastic lizards, which will pair up nicely with these two hooks. Uh, the um, the MSRP for this two pack of uh, bleeding bait hooks is what they call them uh, from Daiichi is a dollar twenty eight. All right, next up here from BOA we've got their armored crawl, their four inch armored crawls. Uh, these armored craws, this four pack goes for $3.99. And let's go ahead and open one up and take it out. Let's see the color first here. Color is orange green. Take one out and you can get a closer look at it. There we go. So it's orange green. It's kind of an orange body. It's got some green specks uh, throughout the body. Uh, it's got some pretty thick claws, but it's thin in between from where it's uh, jointed to the body. So I'm guessing these claws would float up pretty well uh, when it's in the bottom, uh, when you kind of pause it and uh, let it sit at the bottom. These looks like these claws will float up pretty good. Has a little bit of a scent to it. Um, and at least we can got on each side of the body, it's got a little split on each side, which will help um, conceal your hook when you uh, Texas rig it. And when you weed loose rig it, you can just set the hook right into that little uh, open cavity. So it's got that on each side of the body too. It's a pretty thick, uh, Thick body, so it's a probably, it looks like it'll be a pretty durable lure. Uh, so really, this is a good time to kind of just slowly drag these type of lures along the bottom, let them sit and pause for a little bit, and let these lethargic cold water bass, uh, at least in my area, uh, get a look at these and decide if they want to um, try to grab a hold of them. So um, looking forward to trying this one out. It looks like it'll pair up really well with this uh, Daiichi Bleeding Heart uh, Crawl Hook here. So I'm guessing this is probably close to like a 3 odd size hook here. There we go. And let's see here. Last but not least from Mystery Tackle Box this month, we've got some V&M Wild Thing Lizzies. They're uh, lizards. And these are pork fat scented. And let's see if it's got a color listed on it or a size. It doesn't say color or size. We'll go ahead and take one out. This is a four pack of... Uh, Wild Thing Lizzie Lizards, and the MSRP is, uh, it says 275 to 370 so not sure what constitutes the different uh, price changes, but let's see, actually, let's see, uh, retail actually a 7 or 9 pack, 7 pack is 619, 9 pack is 649 for these, and this is just a 4 pack sample pack, and you can see this is a long tailed lizard, um, this is a good at least 8 inch maybe even a little bit longer uh, lizard. The body itself is probably, uh, you've got maybe about maybe about five inches. That tail adds another four to five inches to it. So that's a really big lizard. And that's gonna give you a lot of action, especially as you sit and uh, pause that lizard in the water. Maybe that tail floats up a little bit. Uh, color, I would guess, it's kind of like a, almost like a, a purple green pumpkin, almost not quite watermelon red. It's got a lot of um, purple and uh, dark green specks throughout this uh, green body. Get a little closer look to it. It's got it's kind of greasy, so it's got definitely got a scent to it. Um, so definitely would pair this up with the larger hook here. And this looks to be more like a four, maybe close to a five aught uh, hook from that uh, Daiichi. And this is their lizard hook, so it would pair up pretty well. That you could see uh, how large that that. 
that lizard is. Let's see if we can get a good look at that. So really interested in see how well this this bait would work. I'm not sure if uh, the fish, at least in my area, when the, with this uh, these cold water temps, they're going to go after something this large. But you never know until you try. Fish tend to make their own rules sometimes. So we'll set that there so you can try to get a good look at the entire length of the body there. All right, so that's it for this month um, mystery tackle box. Let's go on and move on to the lucky tackle box side. First thing I see here is this live target frog. It's actually a popping frog. Uh, MSRP for this frog is $10.99. And let's see here, size of it is, let's see, it's a quarter ounce, two and a half inches, and the color is green yellow. So let's go ahead and take this out. And this isn't your traditional uh, hollow belly frog. This is more basically, I wouldn't even consider it a frog. I would just consider it and look at it more like a popper because that's basically what it is. It's a popping topwater bait. Uh, so definitely do not fish this frog like you would normally some of the hollow belly frogs around uh, and throw it right in the matted vegetation because it's got these two treble hooks on it and you're going to get hung up in any type of matted vegetation. So this is more of an open water uh, popper top water type bait than a, your traditional frog, although it is a frog type body. So really interested. I don't really throw poppers that much, uh, so we'll definitely give this a try. Uh, as you can see here, it's just got a, a green frog body on top and green design and got a white bottom to it along with a green, yellow, and uh, kind of a... Um, uh, fluorescent yellow type tail to it, a little feather tail. Once again, the MSRP for this uh, live target popping frog is $10.99. Next up, we got the Z Man Chatter Frog, which is basically a chatterbait looking that looks like a frog. Go ahead and open it up here. Let's see, the color on this is a uh, white green camo, and it's a 3 8 ounce chatterbait. Uh, Z-Man chatterbaits are great because one of the things you get with the Z-Man chatterbaits, um, you usually get a, a trailer. Now this one actually comes with two trailers, and I'll go ahead and show you the trailers first. The trailers are actually like frog legs, uh, and they look actually pretty similar to the frog legs because they actually got the toes and every everything on the feet, and you get two of them. Let's see if I can get these uh, flat so you can take a look at these trailers here. As you can see, they're kind of a white body trailer, uh, got frog leg appendages, two of them. And you've got uh, some green specks throughout that match the, uh, the chatterbait itself. And here is the chatterbait. It's, uh, the head's a little different than the traditional um, Z-Man chatterbaits. It's more of a, uh, a frog looking type. It's got an eye and everything. It even has a mouth, a little red dot, you know, orange dot towards the front to um, kind of give it a little extra um, uh, visibility possibly. And the blade matches the body. It's got that white with green spots on it, and so does the tentacles or the skirt. The skirt's kind of uh, white with uh, green dots. And then you got the, a nice, good, big hook that kind of points up. And these hooks are really good, uh, and especially on these uh, chatterbaits. Most of the time, these hooks, the way they're positioned, I get a top. Uh, I usually hook the fish on the top of the mouth, which is really good, which is ideal is where you want to hook them. So the only difference really between, I notice between this and the regular chatterbait, uh, from Z-Man is the head's a little different uh, shaped and design. The hook's about the same, skirt's about the same, the blade's about the same. It's got that little bend, little angle uh, towards the end there. I don't know if you could see that there. And of course you get two of these uh, frog trailers to go with it, to match up with it. MSRP for this Z-Man Chatter Frog is $4.99, which is a great deal because it's a great chatterbait. Z-Mans are great, plus you get two trailers with it. Now, if you don't want to use these two trailers, you can probably use a uh, twin tail if you want uh, two appendages. You could probably just use a twin tail grub on the back of that Z-Man chatterbait. All right, next up from uh, Lucky Taco Box, we've got these Reaction Stripe Finch Shad 4-inch Silver Shiners. Uh, I've actually got some of these uh, these shiners, uh, these shad shiners. I've got them in a, their chunk style, which is a little same size 4-ounce or 4-inch but they're thicker. So let's go ahead and take these out and see what these are like. See, it's, it's just a, a paddle towel swim bait. There we go. And it's a pretty thin body. Uh, it's uh, got a silver gray body with some blue specks through it. Uh, let's see if it's got the color listed on here. It is a silver shiner color. There we go. So a little small swim bait hook, maybe a 3 aught size swim bait hook, or you can even Texas rig this um, uh, with a 3 aught hook. will do pretty well. There we go. All 
All right, next up here, which is actually on the back of the card here, we've got some Bass Munitions Breach Mini Beavers. And MSRP for this pack here, and you've got, let's see, I mean, go right here. You've got one, two, three, four, five. So this five pack uh, retails for $4.99. Go ahead and open these up here. Take them out so you can get a closer look. See if it lists a color on here. It doesn't say the color on the package, but it looks kind of like a green pumpkin color, your traditional green pumpkin, uh, kind of a dark green body with some black specks through it. Got a little bit of a scent to it, not real greasy, but there we go. Let me go ahead and uh, spread out these appendages so you can get a better look at this guy here there you go so kind of your traditional a uh, really good type um, a punch you could this would be really good as a punch rig uh, or a uh, flipping and pitching rig uh, really ideal not a real big bait uh, it doesn't say the size of it on here let's see it says the size on the card it looks about but be about close to four inches so you know I'd probably match this up with a three maybe four out hook uh, EWG or uh, or offset warm hook would be to, would do great with this guy here Go ahead and show you the other side of it here. There we are. Once again, this five pack is uh, MSRP for $4.99. And last item in the box this month from Lucky Tackle Box, uh, we've got some Mustad hooks. We've got a couple of Mustad hooks. Uh, let's see, it's got a three pack of Big Mouth tube hooks, four odd size. The MSRP for this package of uh, of two hooks is five dollars even. Let's go ahead and take one out and show you. These two hooks are great. I've got some of these uh, must add two hooks, and they're great overall. You know, versatile hooks. You can use these hooks. You know, not just for tubes. You can use them for just about any soft plastic that you want to use. They're similar to my, kind of a, a, a an extra wide gap hook. They're really similar to that style of hook. Uh, so you could pair this up really well uh, with this. Um, what was this? This Bass Munitions. Uh, Let's see here, this Bass Munitions Mini Beaver bait, and also this uh, Reaction Strike uh, Thin Shad here. This hook would work well with both of these if you like. Okay, so that's everything this month. Uh, over here on the left on the Mystery Tackle Box side, we've got from River to Sea, we've got their Whopper Plopper uh, 90, and this goes for $13.64. From Fish Head, you've got their Stand Up Fish Head Spin, that goes for $5.29. You got a couple of hooks from Daiichi, and this two pack of hooks go for a dollar twenty-eight. Then you got this really long lizard here from VNM. Uh, this wild thing, Lizzie, Liz uh, Lizzie lizard. It's a four pack, and according to the card, this four pack of wild thing Lizzie lizards from VNM retail from two seventy-five to three seventy. And then last but not least, for Mr. Tackle Box this month, you've got from Bioa. You've got their Armored Cross, and this four pack of Armored Cross go for three ninety-nine. And then from Lucky Tackle Box this month, you've got from Live Target, you've got their um, Live Target Popping Frog. And this Popping Frog from Live Target goes for $10.99. And then from Z-Man, you've got their Chatter Frog, which comes with two trailers. Uh, this package here goes for $4.99. And then from Reaction Strike, you've got a four-pack of four-inch Thin Shads. And this four-pack of Thin Shads go for $7.99. And then for Mustad, you've got three four hot size Big Mouth tube hooks. And these three uh, Big Mouth tube hooks go for $5. And then last but not least from Lucky Tackle Box this month, from Bass Munitions, you've got these Breacher Mini Beavers. And this five pack of Breacher Mini Beavers goes for $4.99. Anyways, hope everybody likes this video. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, uh, please just throw those down in the comments section below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see any more um, unboxing videos like this one, any more fishing videos, and of course some more gear review videos, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Once again, this is Jeremy Baker. Thanks for watching.